Today's Fun With Food Friday is going to be this Crock-Pot chicken uh, burrito bowls, or you can use the filling for like soft tacos or whatever. And then... Okay, so you need a Crock-Pot. You either cook it on low for like six to eight hours or cook it on high for, what, three to four? So I'm doing mine on high. So first thing you want to do is put in your chicken breasts. Um, I don't know how much I have in there because I got a family pack and I just threw in like enough for me and Jay and Adri. But just however much you want, you'll have to use your liquid accordingly so that the chicken is covered. So put your chicken in the crock pot. Okay, next I'm adding in a can of diced tomatoes. It doesn't matter what brand, I just drained them. Sorry, they're cutting on a tree outside and they're freaking mulching it right outside my window. So add in a can of diced tomatoes. These just have chilies with them. <clears throat> Next you want to add chicken broth. Um, I have the reduced sodium. You want just enough. It has to cover the chicken. So roughly like a half cup for mine, it should be. Just so the chicken's covered. Okay. <clears throat> so we've got our chicken, our can of diced tomatoes, and chicken broth. Now if you want, you can just use like a packet of taco seasoning, but we're using the regular stuff. So I have two teaspoons of chili powder. Sprinkle that in. Oh, yeah, I need some okay. Okay, when I put in the cumin and the chili powder, it also calls for two teaspoons of salt, but I just put in one teaspoon, but for some reason that clip didn't... <coughs> sorry. For some reason that clip didn't go through. So yeah, just throw in one to two teaspoons of salt. Now I'm putting in one teaspoon of cumin <clears throat> okay and now I'm gonna put the lid back on this well, I'm gonna kind of stir it up a little bit and then I'm gonna put the lid on and let it cook like I said at least two to three hours on high. Okay, so after cooking it for a few hours, I cooked it for like three, let's see, three and a half hours on high. I just added some black beans and some corn, and now it's ready to either go in a bowl or on a soft taco shell with sour cream and cheese. Yum! Okay, so when the chicken's done, you can either add another half a cup of chicken broth and rice, and let it cook for another hour and a half or two. But I just did it without the rice because I use cups of brown rice. And then you just use your fork and shred up the chicken. And here it is. It's delicious.